I'm Thomas, and I'm a sex researcher. And I can probably guess what you're thinking. Just what we need. Another white cisgender male to talk about sexual assault. And I've been thinking the same thing for the last couple weeks. Do I want to make a video about sexual assault or not make a video about sexual assault? And I decided that I needed to because men are the ones that are doing the assaulting and men are not talking about it enough. And if men don't change, nothing is going to because no one else is doing anything to stop it. One thing that I try to convey to my students is that sex is all around us, in every way. Which isn't always bad, but sometimes it's so frequent or mass that we don't even notice it. Every week I show them something in pop culture that's filled with sexual innuendos, most of which have gone unnoticed. Sexual assault is everywhere right now, so it's impossible, if not outright irresponsible, to not talk about it in my class. Similarly, I feel the same for this channel. Sex is not only about pleasure or avoiding STIs, sometimes it's also about the terrible stuff that happens. Recent stats from the US Department of Justice and the FBI report that every 98 seconds, someone is sexually assaulted. My videos are about five minutes long, so that means at least three people will be sexually assaulted while you're watching this. So starting from the beginning of this video, I'm going to remind you every time one happens. This means that more than 320,000 people will be sexually assaulted in the United States this year. Someone was just sexually assaulted. 90% of them are female, 80% of them are under 30, and 15% of them are under 12 years old. And this is not happening to just cisgender heterosexual individuals. 64% of transgender individuals report sexual assault at some point in their lifetime. And 4 out of 10 gay men report sexual violence. This is an everybody problem. According again to the U.S. Department of Justice, of every 1,000 rapes, 310 are reported to the police, 57 lead to actual arrests, 11 go to prosecutors, and only 6 will go to jail. So who are these offenders? Well, more than 50% of them are white males in their 30s, and about 20% of them are married. The majority of offenders are known by the people they're attacking. About 38% of them they would consider a friend, and 7% are family members. All of these statistics should shock the f out of you. Parents, friends, coworkers, bosses, officers, appointed officials, they're not doing enough. We're not doing enough. This is not a black versus white, Republican versus Democrat, or Trump versus Clinton issue. This is an everyone issue. Part of the reason that we're in such an influx right now of reporting on sexual assaults and news stories all over the place is not that this hasn't always been going on, but that the status quo for so long has been that it's okay, that it's expected, or boys will be boys. Someone was just sexually assaulted. And we're finally at a point where it's not okay anymore. And unfortunately, there are many people who still think that certain behaviors, like groping, is okay or not a big deal. I honestly wouldn't be surprised to find out that the majority of elected officials have engaged in some sort of behavior that's not okay by today's standards, and we have to vote these people out. Republican or Democrat, we have to vote them out and replace them with people who will protect us. Change has already started and it's going to continue with all of us taking a stand. And honestly, men, you need to be talking about it more. And more men need to be voicing that they're not okay with it. It's not even that it's the people that it's happening to that could be our moms or our daughters or our sisters or our friends. It's that they're people, period. And we have to do better. We have to demand better from ourselves and from those around us. Although I've never sexually assaulted anyone, I've made sexist comments and jokes and not even noticed I was degrading the women around me until someone else pointed it out. I didn't even know because I was raised in such a way that this was okay. I remember when I was growing up, there were many nights sitting around the dinner table where people would make jokes about the size of my mom's chest and everyone would laugh. Everyone besides her. Someone was just sexually assaulted. But we all laughed and this was seen as okay. In fact, more than okay, it was seen as having a good time. 
My earliest memory of this took place when I was seven or eight years old, and it wasn't until I was much older that I realized how f***ed up it was, that it's not okay. Honestly, I'm not even sure if anyone at the table even thought that it wasn't okay because it just seemed normal. And I hate to think about the message that that could have even been sending to my sisters about what it's okay for them to think about themselves or, or have people say about them or be in relationships with people that say things like that to them. And I don't even know if I can blame the grown-ups in the household because in the households that they grew up in, this was also just what was done in the status quo and no one thought anything of it. And it sucks, and it's painful, and I'm 100% positive that it wasn't intended, but that doesn't change the fact that it happened. And this is where it begins, at home, at school, in our communities. Parents need to teach their children how to behave and what's acceptable. Adults need to call out other adults, and friends need to call out their friends. Because our government, the people in charge, aren't doing anything to stop it. Six out of every thousand people that rape end up in jail. Six. Someone was just sexually assaulted. If you're a sexual assault victim, there are resources for you all over the internet, and I put some for you below. We've got to start doing better. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production and I don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And in the meantime, check out one of these other videos. And don't forget to send me your questions about sex to thomastalksabout at gmail.com.